my love, it ran on this deal. Riding through the seven sevens. What's up, Lay and Mika gang? I'm Lay. And I'm Mika. Alright, so you guys have been waiting for this very first video for a long time. <laughs> a oh, long time. <laughs> but uh, we've been going through a lot and dealing with a lot of stuff. We are college students. But our first video is going to be the girlfriend tag. Yes, we are in a relationship. Both lesbians, obviously. <laughs> Um, and we're just gonna get into the video. I'm gonna ask a question, she gonna ask a question. Um, all right, you want me to answer ask the first question? Yeah. All right, where and when did you guys meet? Well, technically, we knew each other before we met each other because we had like every class together last every semester, class. but we officially met at the statue, which is in the middle of the campus. She asked me to sing for her. Cause she was in choir with my sister, so I was like, sing, and she would not sing. She told me I had to come to her concert to hear her sing, so and she came to my concert. Ah, all right. The next question. Oh Lord. You got to ask all the yes. questions. Oh, we got to do every last one. Yeah. All those okay. Questions. Where was your first date? Where was our first date? Well. All right. Okay. See, I'd be trying to take her out, like, you know, other places. That's not the question. <laughs> the girl. question is, where was our first Chuck E. Day? Cheese. But the only reason it was Chuck E. Cheese was because she wanted to take her brother out or whatever. And I was like, are you sure? It was her first time coming to my hometown to meet my family. Yeah, so she she was like, well, our first day can be the Chuck E. Cheese. It was pretty fun, though. We're not going to lie, you know. She had a lot of fun. We both had a lot of fun, though. <laughs> we both had a lot of fun. You go, okay, I had fun, but I was walking around making sure everybody was okay the whole time while she was playing basketball the entire time. But, yeah, you know, it was really fun to hang out with her. Alright. When was your first kiss? Who initiated it? <laughs> I like this question. Our first kiss was on the cheek. She initiated it. And our no, second... the first actual kiss. Like, lip to lip. She just I grabbed, grabbed her. She was about to walk out and go handle something. And I grabbed her. And just kissed, kissed me. Just like that. You feel me? Okay. What was our first impression of each other? You go first. My first impression, I slipped out she was I really thought she was creepy because like every time she saw me she just smiled for no reason at all. Like she just be cheesing mad hard for no reason. I just be like I smile all the time. No matter if I'm mad, no matter if I'm sad, I smile literally all the time. So and I was, was in I was in this class and I was struggling with the work and my friend was in there and she was struggling too. So she was like, Ask your little girlfriend to help you and I was like, Who's my little girlfriend? Because she was very smart in that class. Like she helped everybody, but she never helped me. She never came over there to help me. I helped the people that ask. So she was like, Ask your little you girlfriend. You have not because you asked not. And I was like, My little girlfriend, who's that? And she was like the girl that's always smiling at you and waving at you. And that's when I actually noticed her and I was like, she is kind of cute. I could see her being my little girl. She thought I was creepy. That's her first. My first impression of her, honestly, is when, when we first had got here, we had a little week of, a freshman week basically, and we had to dress up. You know, I was looking bad. <laughs> but I look up and a lot of you, she's far, like way ahead of me. So then I look up and I'm looking. And I noticed her, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta talk to her, like, let me, let me slide up in it, you know. And then, I just didn't see her after that, and I was wondering why I just wasn't looking, because she was in every one of my classes. Every last one of them. Every one of them. But, she was just, she just caught my eye, like, and she was smiling so hard when I had you know lay eyes on her or whatever like she wasn't smiling at me but she was smiling like mad hard so that's what really caught my attention her smile is very beautiful it's still <laughs> all right next question um i answered i asked it right how long have you been together four months seven, seven whoa i should say seven days four months on the 15th today is the 24th So it's four, four months, nine days. days. Nine. It's the 24th. Oh, I, I was going to say, yeah. Four months, nine days feel like an eternity. 
You had to check my mouth? Yeah. All right. Okay. What's our favorite memory together? What's your favorite memory? Um, my favorite memory of us is actually before we got together, um, we was just in Walmart and we were just having a good time. Like we was on the bus on the way to Walmart, whatever. And she just kept smiling at me. We just kept laughing and joking or whatever, you know, having a good time. Like, I have a lot of memories of us, a lot of good memories. But, you know, that was my favorite one because it initialized our relationship. Just throwing that out there, we got together during homecoming. And if you're a college student or a non-college student, pretty sure you know what homecoming is. A lot of parties, a lot of fun. We were wilding when we got together. Like We honestly didn't think we were going to, like last as long because it was just home home we thought we just had fun a little but, fling yeah our fa my favorite memory is us getting our tongue pierced together because i didn't think i didn't think she was gonna be brave enough to do it i had already had mine done before and we couldn't go back there with each other because i had my little brother with me so some one of us had to stay out there and watch him so she came back and i'm thinking she's just gonna be crying hurt and i was like you got it done and she was like yeah I'm like, did it hurt? Nope. I was like, okay. Then we get home and oh my god, my tongue. I was no. It she was wasn't just crying. because she was like, it's bothering me. I, it's okay. aggravating. It's very okay with me. I don't like pain, but I can tolerate it to a certain extent. And if I can control the pain, then I'll be fine. And a tongue person, you can't control the pain. And I was so aggravated. Like, y'all just don't understand. She couldn't eat nothing. I'm sitting there chowing down, just eating. And she up there, how can I eat? Mind you, she had already had it before me. And when she first got it, I was in when I was in New York, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went back home. And I called her. And she over there, I can't eat nothing crying. Because it was Thanksgiving. Nothing. I couldn't eat none of the Thanksgiving food. Still, All I ate was, was potato salad. Crying. <laughs> Who said I love you first? Okay, let me tell you the story. <laughs> it was homecoming on now. Remember that? It was in the same week. We were drinking and stuff. Well, okay, yeah, we were drinking and stuff. She drunk way more than me. She ended up like drunk, drunk. So I'm like trying to put her in the bed, cover her up, making sure she's in the bed and okay you know because when you know how your friend just go like over that limit and you like it's time for you to lay down so it was time for her to lay down so i mean i just remember she was, i was trying to sneak out the room so i can leave and she was like no you're leaving me you're leaving me and i'm like no i'm not I'm i ain't right gonna here. tell me to lay down you don't I'm leave right me here. because i thought she was just gonna go to sleep she was like okay i'm going to sleep and she'll close her eyes and i get ready to leave no 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 and i'm Cause like because she's, she's really holding sleep. me i can't if you're holding me and i'm already i'm already comfortable you can't and then she was just like, do you really care about me? Do you, are you happy that we're together? Like, she's just asking me stuff. And I was just like, yes, I love you. And she was like, you love, and I was just like, oh my God. And, you know, well, I was intoxicated. I didn't remember nothing but that, which was very, So the next day when she brought it up to me, she tried to play it off. She was like, yeah, in a friend way, not yet. Because it just, it just came out like, I didn't think it was just going to come out like that. Yeah, she said it. I said it first. Um, what is our favorite thing about each other? I definitely love her eyes, and she know that I love her. Like we be in the middle of an argument, and she just look up at me, and I just be like, oh my god, I love her eyes. Her eyes are so beautiful. Oh my god, show them your eyes. I can't. I don't know what they she's talking about. They like, can't see the brownness, but her eyes are so beautiful. I love her eyes. I just love but um. My favorite thing about her, honestly, is I can't just nitpick one, but it's her smile. Like when I just see her smile, I know everything's gonna be okay. To be honest, <laughs> and my anger is very bad, so it's like her smile. If as long as I see her smile, I can calm down real quick. It's gotten to the point she's she's the only person that can calm me down. Like that's it's gotten to that point. <laughs> uh, birth, both personality wise and physically. Oh, so we got okay. Well, personality, per, personality wise. Um, I like how. How can I say it? 
Yeah. Like me, she's very real, you know, not fake at all. She'll tell you the truth, like, no matter what. And I like that about her. Like, I've always liked Even that if it hurt her feelings, I'm going to let her know. She be trying to hurt my feelings, though, so. <laughs> no, <laughs> I like how she's very upfront and to the point. Um, and physically... <laughs> physically <laughs> okay, so what, she, what? I didn't just say that <laughs> okay what? well physically like I mentioned before it's her eyes I love her eyes personality wise it's really her dancing it, it's, well that's more that's not even personality wise I guess you could say her sense of humor because she's funny when she dances She's a very goofy, funny person. Like, I could be mad. And she'd be mad, too. She'd be like, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. But she'd still be goofy. So, yeah. It's her humor. <laughs> What's their favorite color? Her favorite color is pink. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just playing. It is. Be her favorite Look color at this bear. A person is not going to get this pink. pink bear for you if you do not like pink. Flowers. Pink. pink. Everything, Everything pink. I get her is pink. I love the color pink. And she loves the color blue. Snow. I hate the color purple, but I have this on. I hate the color purple. She got me a blue do red. Oh, I'm finna look so fine in it. Alright. What food does the other one hate? I hate a lot of food. You do. You, 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 you do. <laughs> you, 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 you do. I'm gonna put that in. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely hates a lot of food, but I say the food she hates the most. I really don't know. Wow. What's something I eat that you hate? Nothing. Nothing that you eat. Everything that you hate, I I hate to be honest. So it's like there's nothing I eat that she just absolutely does not like. One thing that she hates that I eat is corn chicken chowder. No, she don't even hate that no more because she tried it yeah. and she liked it. Um, is fish. I was gonna fish. Say, I hate fish. Fish. I hate fish. How do you hate fish? I hate fish. I hate fish. I hate fish. It's disgusting. So disgusting. But really, what do you hate that, you, that I eat? It's nothing. Chitlins. Oh, I love chitlins. I don't know. Like, I just, okay, I've cooked them before because my grandma, got rest her, so I've, she literally asked me to make them, and, you know, I've cooked them. I just don't like the smell, and you know how they're good. You smell stuff before you eat it, so it's like that smell didn't attract me, so I just never tasted it. She's saying that she's going to have me taste it. I love this next question. <laughs> Did you know right away that she was a lesbian? I instantly knew she was one. I knew from the jump. She a lie. Okay, she dressed. At first, she was dressing like a stud. So I'm just like, she got like females. Then I saw her at this cute doll party, and she having a romper. And I'm like, cause I was hey. good. Honestly, my style is like, I I can't say it's unique, cause a lot of people like it, but I don't feel like, you know, a book is not judged by its cover. And I dress how I dress, you know. Sometimes I wear a bandana, you feel me? Like, I wear a dress. Got plenty of dresses, sandals, you know. I don't like wearing it all the time because I'm not comfortable in it a lot of times because, you know, I can't have it on all day. I have it on for a couple of hours. That's about it. Heels, like a walking heels. But I just like my style, you know. I look cute in whatever I put on, to be honest. Her? No, I didn't. I had to tell her. I was so because she was she listening to my story. I was talking oh. to a friend, and I was like, I was talking about this guy. He always pops up at my house. Like we were, we're, nah, we're close friends. Whatever, we're close friends. Nah, no. But he used to just like pop up at my house, and he still do. Cause you know you had those friends no. that you fall out with, not on no bad terms, but like they still come to your house. So like he when comes to my house. Anyways, he comes to my house whenever he gets ready. And I was talking about it, and I was just like, what if my boyfriend or my girlfriend is there, and I bring my girlfriend home, and, and, I my girlfriend. and he pops up there. And she was like, girlfriend? You got a girlfriend? I was like, no. She was like, you like girls? I'm like, you didn't know that? And my friend was like, yeah, she like girls and boys. You didn't know that? 
oh, and she was like, oh my God, if I would have known that. She strictly to the pussy, mom. I just had to make that close. I am, but she was just like, if I would have known that, I wouldn't have did what I did yesterday. Cause she had kissed me on the cheek. But she thought she meant she thought I meant like I wouldn't have kissed her at all. Like I would just limited it. Cause and it wasn't that. Off. It wasn't that. I just wouldn't. You know, I'm a very upfront person, so I would have just kissed her. Like just threw it on her, like on her lip. But I didn't know, so I didn't want to, you know, assume. Who wears the pants in the relationship? She would just turn around and show them the shirt. I mean, honestly, we both the girl in the relationship. That's like, what the back of the shirt says. Yeah, both the girl in the relationship. But um, if I would have to say, like, if you if you ask, like, who's the most dominant? It's me. Don't lie to them. It's me. She's she gonna do what I say? Do no. I'm see, it's not like that. See, I'm honestly, just, it's me. But I'm I spoil spoiled. her a lot, so you know she feel like she's most dominant. It's just I spoil her a lot, so that's that's mainly it. But I'm more dominant. She gives me whatever I want, so therefore, as long as she you know behaves, you know, I, I wear the pants, the skirts, the shorts, everything. Do you consider yourself a normal couple? <laughs> I mean, we do things that normal couples do, but. <laughs> No, <laughs> no. We argue Not like normal all. couples. We hug and kiss like normal couples, but no, like, mm -mm. no, definitely. Not. We're very goofy, and I feel like a lot of couples. That's where they like. That's where they mess up at. You know, you know. I'm not hating on y'all. They forget that they have to it's be just, friends. Yeah. They, like this is my best friend, my lover, my everything, my wife, my fiance, like everything, like. <laughs> And you know you gotta be goofy with the person too. You can't always be serious and romantic. You you know that stuff is there, but you gotta be goofy with the person too. You gotta be great. You see what I'm wrong? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Like, like we'll just come out of the blue and just do some like when we first like, got together. Every week, I got a new color of flowers. Like, I told her, like, she asked me a bunch of questions before we got together. And I was just like, she was like, what do you like? This, that, and the third. And, like, now it's like, she'll go to the store to get one thing and come back with flowers or something. Like, the, she'd see, that's always just me. That's extra. one thing. Like, it's not me being extra. It's just, like, I feel like this is another thing. I feel like a lot of relationships tend to lose that one spark you know what i'm saying like it's with me it's just as long as i feel like my girl should always be appreciated no matter what you know no matter our, what argument we get in no matter what we go through i just feel like she should always always be appreciated and me getting her flowers you know i haven't gotten her some in a while because we've been going through like i said a lot well actually i have but you know it's just a different color of flower means a different thing and she explained that to me too so it's you know Something wrong with you. <laughs> but you know, I get her flowers every week to show her how much I appreciate her. I get her some candy too with the flowers too. Okay. Do you do PDA? Public display of a thing. It took her a long time to do that. We do it sometimes. Okay, we go to the calf, right? And like they be doing this jamming in the calf. They play and music stuff. I be in the line waiting for my food and she come up behind me. Well, Wanna dance I don't be doing all that rough. She be wanting to dance. I be wanting to dance like everybody. I be. I don't uh, have no problem uh, with dancing, uh, uh. but I know I can't dance. <laughs> so when she tries to dance with me, I just be like, mm. and she be like, you don't want to dance with me? You ain't want to show me no affection in public? No, I just can't it's, dance. And then like when she holds my hand, she'll hold my hand. Like she do just like this. And then I wouldn't want to hold her hand. The only reason I don't want to hold her hand is because she'll let go instantly. She'll hold my hand, let go. Because she talks with her hands. I so do. since she talks with her hands, I, you want to hold my I hand. But let. Time. But that, that's very aggravating. Very, very aggravating. But we try. It's not. I don't feel like it's a big thing. Like, we know we love each other. Like, this picture right here, we were outside. Yeah, like, you yes. know, we, we know we, we love each other and stuff. So PDA is not. Are your parents supportive of your relationship? Um, 
My mom is very supportive. She loves Alasia. Like, she constantly asks about Alasia all the time. My dad, I don't know if he know. Like, she came home or whatever, but it's like my dad, he's just not coming back in my life, like, a lot. Like, he, he wasn't there a lot growing up. So, like, I never came out and was just like, Dad, I like girls and I have a girlfriend. He just, well, like, my ex, she stayed, like, right up the street. So, he saw me with her all the time, and I'm pretty sure he caught a sense or something. But I just never felt the need to come out and talk to him about something like that because I don't know if I'm open enough to him to tell him something like that. But, like, when she came down, she was staying the night, and we was in the room or whatever he we walked just in laying room. down yeah he, made it seem like he, he walked in the room and he was like oh, 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 oh my I'm bad, sorry, my bad. Like, and what walked back out and it's like he we rolled back to school together he knew he, he brought was. my stuff in yeah he, stuff he in. saw the pictures of her on my wall and stuff yeah. like mm -hmm. he didn't he didn't say anything but i'm gonna bring it up to him mm -hmm. This That's spring break when we go home <laughs> like so me and my girlfriend is it and i'm gonna see what his reaction gonna be we're gonna let y'all know how that go her parents, her dad loves me. You're not going to let me answer the question. Mm -hmm. Alright, now my dad, my dad loves me regardless. He's explained that multiple times and I love him for that. He's, he loves me regardless of what I do. You know, as long as I'm doing the right thing, as long as I'm doing what I love, you know. He, he, my number one supporter. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm good. Um, yeah, my dad is my number one supporter, along with my stepmom, you know, they both there for me, you know, they explained that multiple times, you know, um, that is said my dad's side of the family. Now, my mom, um, you see, I've came out to her, you know, we're going to do a coming out story, but I've came out to her multiple times, you know, well, she's found out, you know, and she just, she's a Christian, you know, we're Christians, you know, I still believe in what I believe, but you know, she's just not for that you know what i'm saying and she just she's not supportive she's explained that multiple times she even called her and said it you know she's explained that multiple times and to be honest i just feel like i just feel like you know i understand you don't agree with it i understand you don't agree with it at all but yeah that's a topic but my mom, no. My dad, yeah. My stepdad, no. My stepmom here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. I'm still, I'm still in this relationship. I'm still here. Yeah, that made my want to. What's one thing the other does that you hate? I don't hate it. Hate is very strong. Yeah, she always said it. Every time I say I hate something, hate is a very strong word. So we strongly dislike. Not strong. Cause it's cute. What? What is it? Cause she's never answered this question before. So I'm really ready for this answer. Cause when I asked her, it's nothing. It's nothing. So she has no choice but to say something. So what is it? Honestly, it's just when she's when we're arguing, it's just like. We'll be arguing full on, like not full on. <laughs> we'll be arguing about the smallest thing. And it's like, I feel like she don't be understanding me. Like, and then since she's spoiled, she start crying. Like last night. Start crying out of nowhere. Like, I just feel like you don't love me. And go on and on. And, and, and then like, it makes her mad and aggravated. Because she, we'll literally start arguing because I'm literally sitting here. And she don't like the way I answer that, or she feel like I have. <laughs> she, she feel like I have, you know, I have an attitude, and I don't be having an attitude. I literally, it's just my face. And I'm sorry, I just noticed that this is not the wall. This is the desk. You noticed? You knew that when we brought it in. Okay. Anyway. Wow. But you know, and she just. She was like, she got mad. And I'm like, all right. I'm calm for, I was calm for a good second. And then she just got even more mad. And that made me mad because you're mad for no reason. Because I literally have no attitude. So that's one thing I hate. But she just, petty arguments and her crying 
not arguing it, trying to, yeah. One thing I hate, what strongly dislike, is when she don't speak up. She constantly tell me, you don't understand, you don't understand, but then she don't explain it to me to where I understand, like, she'll start to say something like, I really don't, never mind. And I'll be like, what? Nothing. I'll be like, what? Never mind. Like, she don't never tell me, so I have to, like, figure it out. I really don't like that, but it's a part of us growing and learning each other, so I did with it. Mm -hmm. And she don't like when I kiss her with my lip gloss on, but I just, she just did it. You see my face, right? <laughs> what is the next thing you are doing together that you're excited for? Spring, Spring break. break. We're going on our first trip together as us. Like, she's came to my hometown or whatever. And that's all cool. That's nice. She met my family. But now it's us. What is the size of my shoes? She got real big feet, so I feel 10. I'm just here Kevin right now. She just wear about anywhere from an eight to a ten, I say. I don't even know my size. Yeah, you do. I bet you it's an eight and a half. Not an eight and a ten. So you don't wear a ten and no shoes. I don't wear those type of shoes though. But now now one of your pair of shoes in this closet right now is a size ten. None of them. None of them. Oh my sandals, but that's about it. Exactly. My heels in there? Dr. Martin today? My Dr. Martin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. But I from an eight to a ten, depending on the style of the shoe and stuff like that. I mean, I I have worn a size nine and some sandals before. It just depends on how the shoe made and the material of the shoe. What size do I wear? Huh? Hmm. Oh, in issues. Mm -hmm. Oh, an eight. And and women is a nine. No, a six no. and a half in men and an eight in women. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah, that's what you mean. No, that's really what I meant. All right. Um, you want to ask the next question? That's a lot. Oh, which fruit is my favorite? Didn't we? I just offered you these on last night. I was going to say, yeah, pineapples. I love pineapples. I do too, but I really thought it was something else because we'd be in the store and she'd be wanting to get. I tried to make you get a whole pineapple the last time. I know, but who don't like pineapples? Hmm. What would I cook for you for dinner? Spaghetti. Why would I cook that? That's my favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she loves spaghetti. Spaghetti is her favorite. When did we start dating? October 15th of 2018. Yes, sir. The day after homecoming. So just, oh my goodness. <laughs> and then our one year anniversary is October 15th of 2019, right? Homecoming starts October 15th of 2019. This is about to be. Wow. I'm going to get her bottles. <laughs> all right so this is the end of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe my social media you feel me snapchat twitter all that yeah and don't forget to push that notification bell so that way y'all can be notified because we will be on the on our stuff and we will post videos we got y'all you know I love it when I'm nasty Riding through the 772